Hello? I'm Artifacts of Mars. I did a uh, field report on this. This is a carousel Im image. Technically, it's called Piccaninny. It shows a rooster with a couple of little cute black children and some anti-American commie at Democrat and Chronicle decided oh, can't have that. It's a piece of Americana. So it's being removed from the Denzel Carousel at Ontario Beach Park. Uh, the planning board unanimously agreed to remove it. Now this is, these people are anti-American. I've said before and I stand by it. They are not Americans and do not deserve to call themselves Americans. Period. In the subject. I am really hot. There's nothing I can do about it, of course. Uh, other than I am going to be so on Monroe County's shit, you're not going to believe it. I am going to look for one story after another. I am so going to be on their shit, it's going to be amazing. This is fascism, folks. This is a piece of Americana that's been up since 1905. But these people hate America. They're like Obama. They hate America. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. They hate, hate everything about this country. So, uh, let's take a look at another story. This only has the panel on it. Hang on. Yeah, my computer's being uncooperative. And it kept, uh, crashing, so I had to switch to, uh, what is this, Safari from, uh, Google Chrome. This is Google Chrome keeps crashing it. Right, the City Preservation Board unanimously... Voted Wednesday night to remove a century old panel depicting what many say are racist images from the carousel at Ontario Beach Park. The Denzel carousel was built in 1905 and is owned by the city of Rochester but managed and operated by Monroe County. The images displayed on one of the carousel panels is called Piccaninny Art. This particular painting is of a rooster and two black children with caricature like figures features in January the county gave the city permission to take the panel down as long as the city pays for its removal and it goes on and on uh, dozens attended Wednesday's preservation board which I wasn't able to attend because I worked second shift and Jim Smith the communications director for the city of Rochester was also at the meeting Smith on behalf of the city, propo proposed to remove the panel too. One possible plan was to have the Rochester Museum and Science Center take the century old panel and put something in its place. So, this is censorship. This is a direct assault on the First Amendment. Once the panel comes down, the replacement will be introduced, reproduced, and kept. With the historic nature of the carousel, but the community needs to be involved in determining what will be on it, Smith said. And then beyond that, we need to determine what we'll do with this panel once it's removed, but how will it be displayed? Will it be a traveling exhibit used through the country in the schools, possibly at Frederick Douglass Recourse Center? Maybe travel to the Jim Crow Museum out in the Midwest? So there's another way we want to engage and involve the community. No, you don't. You are an anti-American traitor. I'm not taking that back. It talks about the planning board meeting. Uh, you're getting screwed. They're, they are destroying our culture. These people are as bad as ISIS, almost as bad. They're not going around chopping people's heads off. They are attacking our culture. And they don't deserve to call themselves Americans. I'm going to say that again. They don't deserve to call themselves Americans. These are not Americans. I stand by that statement. Now, one more to show you. Hang on. Same basic thing. This is from uh, 
WHEC Rochester Preservation Board has unanimously decided to take this down. Peter's not cooperating. I'm madder in hell. I'm going to be so on their shit. Uh, you're not going to believe it. I mean, the Democrat and Chronicle was pretty much just the uh, Rochester wing of the New York Communist Party's propaganda. Uh, wing. They're just the local part of New York Communist Party's propaganda. I mean, so, you know, I would expect nothing more out of the Democratic Chronicle. They'll go around and try to find something else they can take down. Anything to attack and destroy your culture. I heard that Cheryl's an awful, I think she's county supervisor, if I'm not mistaken, uh, supported this. Which, as far as I'm concerned, you know, we may as well... We may as well have Kim Jong Un or whatever his name is. We may as well have a bunch like him in the city of Rochester and the city of in the county of Monroe. What's the difference? I don't see any difference. I, I really prefer to compare him to ISIS, so because ISIS has been ruthlessly attacking culture and destroying it. Oh. Destroying relics that go back thousands of years. It's the exact same mentality. These people have the identical mentality to uh, ISIS. Except this, this is not a religious thing. This is a matter of destroying the culture so they can institute their fascistic ways on the public. I am... Um, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thank you for watching. I stand by all my statements. These are not Americans and don't deserve to call themselves Americans. I stand by that statement. I will not back down. Thanks for watching.